Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here I'm going to be giving you guys a Chrono Crystal guide so you guys can get who I've got on the home screen here But I'm getting hit with some ads as you can see I'm joking. It's just the daily missions uh, We're gonna be doing a Chrono Crystal guide so you guys can get ultra hit I'm gonna be guiding you through everything you can do and you can just literally glide through the video It's gonna be timestamped so you can get every single Chrono Crystal possible so that you can get the best odds But if not, you can literally just save up towards whatever you want to save for in my case You can see I got 14k. I've been saving. I haven't spent one Chrono Crystal <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button. We're on this grant, 40,000 subscribers. All my social media is going to be on the bottom of the screen. It's the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. I like how my light's glowing here, the, the icy white. Let me know if I should keep this aesthetic. But yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Let's get into the video now. All right, so the number one thing I usually talk about is the fact that there's going to be a raid, but doesn't seem like there's a raid this week so that's quite unfortunate however there should be one sometime this month so if you do see a raid just know you can get a thousand chrono crystals from it minimum usually it's sometime more uh but at the least you can get a thousand chrono crystals from the exchange shop but also note if you are above twenty thousand chrono crystals you won't be able to claim the chrono crystals from the exchange shop because there's a cap don't ask me why there's a cap i don't make the rules you just can't get chrono crystals from any exchange shop once you pass twenty thousand chrono crystals so just bear that in mind but if you do see a raid definitely utilize it next we got soul boosting you get chrono crystals for soul boosting but it's only up to a certain amount i'm not sure if they've removed it from the game but most people just do this as soon as they find out about it because it's easy to get chrono crystals now if i actually change this to unlocked boost panels over here and actually only change it to my sparking which it is you can see that there's so many boost panels to get and they're very easy to do so in this example i always use somebody and i'm running out of characters but i got trunks here right so if i go ahead and unlock all you can see very easily i just unlocked 60 out of 60 in the first one so all the way through and if we actually check for a regular sparking how much it is you get 426 and then if it's a zenkai it's even more so imagine doing that for all your sparkings and getting chrono crystals i think it's 10 for every 100 panels so imagine every I just did 400 just like that. That would be 40 Chrono Crystals. And imagine I'm going through them. And I think it maxes out something high like 10,000 or 100,000. So definitely utilize that if you haven't already. I'd suggest starting with your Ultras and Sparkings. Then going to your EXs then Heroes. Because Heroes are just the most irrelevant. EXs are even irrelevant. But obviously you should start with your Sparkings. Because they're going to be the characters you use the most. Now the next method we got is the Ultimate co Equipment Collection. The Equipment Rolling Method. I'm just going to glide through it as fast as I can. So what you're going to want to do is actually get a Platinum equip unique to a specific person so the zamasu one future gohan bardock jiren uh kid boo is one broly one of these ones right i'm think i'm going to use four cues but what i'm going to show you is actually go to the um actual my actual equipment and i'm actually going to go to z so what you can see here i have this equip here what you want to aim for i'm just using super saiyan 4 goku's as an example try get the first slot at least red or yellow right it's going to cost you some energies but it's going to be good investment for your chrono crystal return get the first slot at least a red or a yellow then the middle slot should be decent it doesn't have to be the best you can see mine's still green but you can see over here at the bottom i'm still green i've got the lowest possible and with these unique equipments they change up how they work in comparison to other equipments so you can see there's three options i can get the first option the second option or the third option now i've got the lowest option and i've got a z so that means even if i re-roll this slot and still get the lowest option it's going to stay a z but what you do and what you gain from that is actually getting the z uh a z z mission that's what it's called so uh every time you actually get 10 z z equips z re upgrades that amounts to a z uh a z upgrade so you, you can clear it 10 times i'll show you an example over here uh if i didn't word that properly you basically just keep using your slot removers so it's an exchange for a slot remover so you can get chrono crystals i've got z missions here that i don't claim hopefully i can find one for you you can see here every uh, 100 of the a's i roll i get uh 10 chrono crystals and up to a certain amount for the z's i've already finished the z ones you also get chrono crystals but i think it's every 10 so uh yeah definitely utilize that, that equipment rolling method it's one of the easiest ones but it's pretty much if you don't care about equipment slots slot removers um you get a thousand in the raid two thousand in fact so yeah this section pretty much takes a bit more time because i have to guide you through how to do it the story mode i need to actually complete it i it's updated recently so uh yeah if you haven't completed all the story mode you're bugging and i, li I like to show the maths for this every single time i do this in a chrono crystal guide so you can see here every single star star is equivalent to basically three chrono crystals which is insane right 
So if we have 602 here, I like to bring up my calculator for this one. 602 times three, just in that part one, you can get 1,800 chrono crystals. And you can see 700, 644, 672. You can get a bunch of chrono crystals, but not just that. There's more chrono crystals to get just by clearing the story because you actually get a first time mission clear from your Z missions. You can see over here, there's some here. And then there's also a section over here, more legends missions, where you can actually get 100 chrono crystals per every challenge, a certain amount of challenges that you complete. So I, if you haven't played the story, you shouldn't even be bothering with anything else in my opinion story mode is the fastest and most efficient way even though uh, it doesn't bulk give you it's always there and you can always play it and energies come by easy when you're in early stages of the game you're leveling up fast so you're just accessing all these things here and there i definitely just advise go place the story more than anything else in line with the story mode i also advise people go to play the events now there's a bunch of events and specifically right now there's this event here that gives you a thousand chrono crystals um that's what i've been told anyways you get a bunch every time you clearly look 500 i think it's even it might be even more than that low key 200 like it's looking like it's a thousand so you can get a thousand chrono crystals from this whole thing which is wild by the way and there's other resources here but what i advise you actually do specifically for this raging battle play it but play everything else as well so some of these have timers so you see this one here it leaves in 13 days play it because every time you clear you actually get some chrono crystals for the first time clear similar to the story mode uh, similarly in the uh, original series you should clear the ones with timers because they're gonna go first and these ones will be here forever so you can hold them out for later if there's no timer on them you can take your time these missions here a lot of them don't give you chrono crystals for the first clear or like anything like that so um, the first clear you do get chrono crystals I'm talking about the challenges you can see here Zenny so like you don't really need to bother with them just clear them once and you'll be alright and then the special these ones pretty much don't leave either so you don't need to rush them PvP without a doubt, definitely aim for a thousand Chrono Crystals. That means you'd be ranking within the top 10,000. It's not that difficult to get outside of what people may believe. You just need one decent team. So maybe someone on one specific banner, you build up the characters from that banner. And then after that, you can literally just get a few good equips for that team. And you'd be able to participate as long as... Uh, partake in getting a thousand chrono crystals as long as you're consistent and you obviously need to le learn a few pvp techs i'm actually working on pvp guides and i have some on the channel but i'm looking to update them because i made them a very long time ago i was much younger than i am now so uh definitely go ahead and do that i should show you the rewards while i'm here so you can see here the rank one gets 1300 but don't even bother man odds are if you're watching this video it's not going to be you sorry to crush your dreams but maybe you want to shoot for it prove me wrong uh, but you can see all the way down to here the top 10 10k you get 800 for clearing here and then depending on your group ranking you also get more cc so you could get up to a thousand chrono crystals maybe even more depending on your ranking exactly the same but a whole different game mode we've got tournament of power it gives you chrono crystals up to a thousand as well maybe slightly more 1100 uh depending on where you rank um you just need one good team and one tip for french uh for for co-op is that i said co-op for Tono of Power is that friendship rank for the units you use make a difference. It boosts a thing like key recovery, which is actually very important in Tono of Power. Um, I'm not going to act like I understand what's going on in this game mode, but I'm able to do it because I have one good team. Just pick a team that probably the most top people are using or just use a team that's solid like Regen. Uh, Andros might be a good team and GT and then just put together you'd find somebody in the top ranks literally using one of the teams that might be useful for you so just look at the top ranks glide through it and then pick a team and then you'd be able to get a thousand chrono crystals from your ranking as long as you can actually land up top if you need help definitely join uh discord servers as deke pomzor as deke does guides on youtube pomzor has a server hole dedicated to it where you can actually help so uh, get help so definitely check those out started on the last section but hey we get in co-op next co-op you can actually go ahead and get chrono crystals from the first time clear of course um you can see here challenges uh, which is pretty dope first time clear there you go but then on top of that what's really important is that in the exchange shop if you do enough co-ops you can actually get chrono crystals 300 from the exchange shop that will take you 4500 dual coins 1500 for 100 and you can buy that three times so uh yeah I don't know why people don't play co-op but i understand because it is tedious but now especially because the equ equipments the platinum equips they're putting in the co-op shop uh, need need like they're, they're valuable you need them pretty much depending on the team you want to build you have reason to play it more than ever so i definitely advise doing your three a day daily that's where you get the most every single day so if you just need to do three a day every single day 
that would be good you don't need to grind it individually but you have a reason to grind it outside of that because of the equipments that are adding there so just putting that out there so this is for the people that are considering going pay to win because the game's literally forcing people that way i'm not going to lie if you're not paid to win you really have to skip a lot of things but if i'm going to mention some sales that you should buy the best thing the silver digger no not the silver digger robot the mission plan the premium mission plan that will give you the most chrono crystals the fastest for the cheapest especially if you've never bought it before you get a discounted option the second thing the silver digger robot gives you the most chrono crystals in a short amount of time the third thing is actually the sale you're looking at right now but if you're patient it would actually be the red digger robot and then the last thing i'd mention if not this sale it would be the six six ninety nine sale that costs it give you get a thousand chrono crystals uh something like that maybe five dollars or something i'm i'm british so it's pounds or uh on the weekend they do a 32 pound sale so it might be like 30 dollars maybe more 40 i don't know but you get 200 llz power and 2000 z power um it's a lot more expensive of course but you get what you pay for uh even though i think everything in the shop is a scam <laughs> let's be real but yeah man that's going to be the end of the video hopefully it was helpful for anybody that was looking for a chrono crystal guide um i do this every time a unit drops because people are going to be looking to get that specific unit there's always somebody that wants the unit and people see value some people it's just a preference some people they're just collectors uh and with, especially with ultras there's nothing you can do to guarantee it so you're just digging chrono crystals um i will say though it's an ultra so it will rerun they rerun much faster to be honest and the banners are exactly the same to be honest as well so um yeah good luck uh chasing ultra hit press the subscribe button if this video is helpful more videos like this in the future man we're chasing 40k subs so definitely sub up if you're new here man you know what to do here i'm gonna leave the video like that i appreciate you guys for watching my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man